Lord, we give you praise. Yes, Lord, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you all the praise, King of glory, God of all the universe, creator of heaven and earth, giver of life, the one who was, the one who is, and the one who is to come. We give you praise today. We give you praise, Son of God. We give you praise, the one who makes all things possible. The one who says, call upon me and I will answer you. I will show you things, great and mighty things, which thou knowest not. I give you praise, King of glory. I give you glory. I give you glory. You are my Father. You are my God. You are my everything that I do need. My everything that I do need, I give you praise. I give you praise, God. As we gather in your presence, Father, we worship you. Father, we want to say that, Lord, you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above, beyond what we can think or even ask. I worship you because you love me. I worship you for the way you care for me. I worship you because you raise the poor, the beggar from the dungeon and make them sit with the princes. Worship you, King of glory, because you have all the power. You have all the power to heal. When you say no, no one can say yes. And when you say yes, nobody can say no. I worship you today for everybody watching me. I worship you for everybody online today. Thank you for the women. Thank you for the men. Thank you for the children. Thank you for the sisters. Thank you for the brothers. And thank you for the friends. Thank you. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, King of Glory. I worship you. Worship you because you are able to heal. Worship you because you are able to deliver. Worship you because you are able, King of Glory. My Father, my Father, you are able to do it today. You are able to save your people. Save your people and bless your inheritance. As we come in your presence today, may you save your people, my Father. Save your people and bless your inheritance. For it is written that as you will call upon me in the day of trouble, I will answer you and you will glorify me. Lord, this is a day of trouble. This is a day of Tamil. This is a day of calamity. This is a day of calamity. As, as, as the king Hezekiah said, the children have come to bath, but we have no strength to push. The children have come to bath, but we have no strength to push. It is the day of trouble, but Lord, we're looking unto thee. Our help doesn't come from within. Our help doesn't come from around. Our help comes from above. That's why we worship you today. That's why we glorify you, my Father. That's why we give you praise. We give you glory, my Lord. We give you glory, my Father, my Father, my Father, we give you glory because you are my Father, because you are my God, because you are my everything that I do need. It is you that we need. It is you that we call upon. It is you that we desire. It is your King of glory. You give, gave a promise that I will heal you of your body. I will heal you of your wound. I will heal you from that sickness. I will put on. I will not put on you the diseases which I put on the Egyptians. For I am the Lord that healeth thee. I am the Lord that healeth thee. So every calamity, every sickness, every disease, every 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 deformity, every oppression of the devil, every spirit of paralysis, every spirit of asthma, every spirit of uh, every spirit of malaria, every spirit of HIV and AIDS, every spirit of COVID-19, every spirit of the devil that brings sickness, we destroy it right now in the name of Jesus. The Bible declares, I will not put on you the diseases which I put upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. Lord, we come to you. You are our healer. You are the one who heals our body. Our body is a king of glory. We surrender them to you. It is the temple of your Holy Spirit. It is your house, king of glory. Our bodies, Father, it is your house, my Father. It is your house, my Father. So no sickness shall reign in our body. No illness shall reign in our body. In the name of Jesus, Lord, as we beseech thee today, we destroy every sickness. In the name of Jesus, the Bible declares that I have given you power, I have given you authority to treat over the scorpions and all the power. 
powers of the enemy. Yes, in the name of Jesus, every powers of sickness, we render you powerless now. In the name of Jesus, every powers of sickness, every powers of disease, every powers of illness, in the name of Jesus, we render you powerless. You have no power. Every power of viruses, in the name of Jesus, you have no power over God's people. You have no power over the bodies of God's people. In the name of Jesus, declare today by the faith of the Son of God that you've been destroyed. You've been rendered powerless. The death of Christ on the cross rendered you powerless. In the name of Jesus. So as we pray, as we pray today, everyone wherever you are, just send in your prayer request. It is our yanda kashere woko. Send in your prayer request. We are praying for you. We are praying for your family. We are praying for your children. We are praying for your marriage. We are praying for your education. We are praying for that connection. We are praying for that opening door. May God open that door in the name of Jesus. The Bible declares, I shall go before you and next week straight every crooked place. May God go before you today and open that door. That door that was closed for many years. That door was that door was closed. May God open it now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let God open that door. I pray to God. Let him open that door. Let him open that door. In the name of Jesus. Let the God of glory. Let the God of Isaac. Let the God of Jacob open that door today. In the name of Jesus, in the name of the Lord, let a door be opened. A door for finances, a door for your promotion, a door for increase, a door for connection, a door for that money to come, a door for that land you've been believing God for, a door for that house to be completed. In the name of Jesus, I pray for the door to open. In the name of Jesus, a door of increment. I say a door of increment. Let it be opened right now. In the name of Jesus, every panel online. Come on, every panel. You are welcome, welcome. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, our brothers and our sisters. Our brothers from Africa. Our brothers from Europe. Our brothers from Canada. Our brothers from Asia. From wherever you are. I want to take this opportunity and welcome you to this platform. Our God reigns. He is in our minister. My minister is our God is mighty. Our God is mighty. The God whom you serve shall suddenly come. I say the God whom you serve shall suddenly appear. He shall appear. He shall save. He shall make the way. He shall all call the ending at the beginning. In the name of Jesus, he says to you, I am with you. I will not leave you until I perform that which I promised you. God declares today, he is with you. He shall never leave you until that promise which he promises you comes to pass. It shall come to pass. It may have taken you time to believe, but it shall come to pass. It may have taken you time. Everybody is laughing at you. Everybody is asking you, where is your God? The promise will come to pass. I am here to declare if the Lord made that promise, if the Lord gave you that word, if the Lord gave you that, oh, that, that prophecy, if the Lord gave you that dream, it shall come to pass. Refuse to be refused. Refuse to be discouraged. Refuse to be trained upon. In the name of Jesus, that it shall come to pass. I said, shall come to pass. Let the devil know, it shall come to pass. Let the demons know, it shall come to pass. Let every familiar spirit know, it shall come to pass. Let the demons of your family no, it shall come to pass. Yes, it shall come to pass. By the power of the Holy Spirit, it shall come to pass. It seems to be too late for me. It seems to be too late for me. And everybody says, it shall never happen. I can never wait. It cannot happen. But I'm here to tell you, it shall come to pass. Let the devil know, it shall come to pass. Let the demons know, it shall come to pass. Let the oppressors know, it shall come to pass. Let the family sister spirits know, it shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. Maybe so and so failed, but let them not put out their failure upon you. You are peculiar people. You are a peculiar people. Yes, you are different from them. You have been anointed. 
the Lord God called you. He separated you. The Bible declares that even before you were formed in the womb of your mother, I knew you, God says that even before your mother brought you forth, I sanctified you. I separated you and I ordained you to become that which I called you to be. I want to declare to you now, it shall come to pass when you are entering your new home. It shall come to pass when you are boarding the plane. It shall come to pass when your documents have been approved. It shall come to pass when you get your husband. It shall come to pass when your family are saved. It shall come to pass when your loved one has repented. It shall come to pass Let me declare it now. It shall come to pass when the Lord shall feast you again in the name of Jesus. The Bible declares when Joseph was dying back, he gathered his brethren and he said, I am living, but I am very sure the Lord will feast you. Though I am dying, but I am very sure the Lord will feast you. The Lord will feast you. I said the Lord your God uh, will feast you. I want to declare to you now, it shall come to pass. Uh, your God will feast you. The Bible declares uh, that God remembered all oh, Noah. The God remembered Noah after many days uh, in the port. Uh, the Lord remembered him. Uh, and I also pray today, may God remember you today. The Lord remembered Abraham. Uh, may God remember you today in the name of Jesus. Uh, and as we bring it today, may God remember you. I declare today now let God whom we suffer let a God whom we believe let a God in whose presence I stand out remember you today in the name of Jesus and as he remembers you let him take pain out of your body let him take pain out of your body let it go now I say let it go now in the name of Jesus let the pain go let oppression go let that demon go in the name of Jesus, I shall let it go. I shall let it go. In the name of Jesus, there is this woman watching me. The devil tells you that you're going to die. But I also declare, you're not going to die. You're going to live and declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. If I be a man of God, I cancel that death. I rebuke it right now. Death, where is your power? Death, what is your power? For greater is he that is in me than the devil that is in the world uh, in the name of Jesus uh, I declare life into you I said declare life into you receive life right now I shall receive life right now in the name of Jesus. I shall receive life. I shall receive life in the name of Jesus. Let life come. Let life come. The Bible declares you shall serve the Lord your God and he shall bless your bread and bless your water and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee and the number of your days will I fulfill. I am praying today. Let God fulfill the number of your days. The spirit of fear telling every day that you're going to die. I cancel it right now. I say cancel it right now. You shall not die. You shall live to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. My brother, you are not dying. I declare it now. In the presence of God, you are not dying. There is still more land to conquer. I say now, there is still more land to conquer. There is still more cities to take. There is still more, oh, there is still more, more, more companies to establish. You are not going to die. There are still more children to produce. There are still more kids to raise. You are not going to die. There are still more ministries to support. You are not going to die. My dear listener, you are not going to die. Everybody watching me now, you are not going to die. There is still more ministries that you are supposed to start. There are still companies. There are still factories that you are supposed to build. You are not going to die. That devil is a liar. You are still alive. I said that devil is a liar. If you didn't die today, you are, if you didn't die yesterday, you are not going to die today. You are not going to die tomorrow. In the name of Jesus, the number of your days, will I feel you feel? Say the Lord, I declare today, I cover you with the protection. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. I cover you now. I say I cover you now. You are not going to die. You are going to live and declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Let it happen today. Let it happen today. You are not going to die. Let that devil know you are not going to die. Let that demon know you are not going to die. Let that witch know you are not going to die. Let that illness know you are not going to die. Come on, don't give up. Don't surrender. Don't surrender. In the name of Jesus, you are not going to die. Do 
are not going to die. Greater is it that is in you than the sickness that is fighting against you. Greater is it that is in you than that devil, than that witch that is claiming your life. In the name of Jesus, you are not going to die. If I be a man of God, I cancel the appointment with death. You are not going to die. In the name of Jesus, I command death to be conquered right now. The heads of death, the powers of death, let it be conquered. Let it be conquered right now. I say let it be conquered. Let it be conquered right now. In the name of Jesus, death has no power over you. Death has no power over your children. Death has no power over your loved one. I said death has no power over your home. In the name of Jesus, I command every power, every power compelling space of death out of your house now, out of your home now. You're not going to bury any family of your member this year. I declare that in the name of Jesus. I said declare that to you. You are not going to bury any of your family members. If in this year, in the name of Jesus, you're not going to power them up. In the name of the Lord, you're not going to power them up. There is power being released, breaking every powers of death. In the name of Jesus, that spirit of death, every time you sleep, you lose yourself dying. You see yourself walking with a dead. You see yourself talking with a dead. But I declare, it is not going to be anybody dying in your house. In the name of Jesus, I break it now. I say, I break it now. You shall not die. It is the will of God to give you the kingdom. It is the will of God to prolong your life. In the name of Jesus, listen to me, my friend. There's somebody watching me. You've been having fear that you're going to buy your bury your child. There's a fear. There's a fear that's been bombarding you. That has been heavy on your heart and that fear has been saying that that you're going to bury your children you're going to bury your children and the devil is saying to you your child is dying your child is dying but i want to speak to you now in the name of jesus my bible declares and Isaac buried Abraham and buried Sarah. Isaac buried Abraham and buried Sarah. And also Jacob buried Isaac and also his mother. Yes, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You're not going to bury your father. You're not going to bury your children. In the name of Jesus. I declare to the now as a man of God. You shall not bury your children. That devil, that devil that wants to kill your children prematurely. I destroy it now. Now. You are not going to look up into the grave of your children. Let it happen now. You shall not look up in the grave of your children. I declare it now. I said declare it now. You shall not look up into the grave of your children by the power of the Holy Spirit. I said by the power of the Holy Spirit. I declare life into your house now. There is power that brings life into your house now. Power is being released to bring life into your house. To bring out power is being released uh, to bring life, uh, to bring health. Uh, my Bible declares uh, in the book of Jeremiah that I'll bring it health, uh, I'll bring it cure, uh, I'll bring it cure. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, now I will cure them uh, and I will heal them. Uh, in I will heal them uh, because I've been rejected uh, and been called outcast. Uh, I will heal them. Uh, I will heal them. Uh, it is happening now. God is sending a cure. It will be home now. God is saying, uh, I will heal your children. Uh, God is saying, uh, I will heal your husband. Uh, God is saying that I will heal your wife. God is saying that I am taking sickness out of your minister. It is happening now. It is happening now. By the strength of Jesus, you've been healed. It is happening now. I'm taking sickness out of your house in the name of the Lord. I'm taking every demon, every addiction out of your children, every addiction. I'm taking it out. I'm taking out every addiction in the name of Jesus. There is somebody I'm praying with right now in the name of Jesus. I join faith with you. The Bible declares when two shall agree on anything shall be done for them by our heavenly Father who is in heaven. I join my faith with you about your children that are wayward, about your wayward the children about your vagabending children that they was played that they was snatched out of your hands and they are being addicted 
protected us. They are now addicted us on to alcoholism. In the name of Jesus, they are being addicted us to alcoholism, to drugs, to marijuana, to cocaine. But I declare freedom to your children. I say freedom to your children. In the name of Jesus, if you pain in the spirit, I break it now. Come on, join me. You call a pen up by names now. Come on, join me, everybody. We are praying for your children. Call them by names. Call them by names. Call the first one. Call the second one. Call up to the last one. Come on, make mention right now. As we pray, make mention of your children. In the name of Jesus, make mention of your children. In the name of the Lord, my Bible declares in the book of Isaiah. Chapter 54, that all my all your children shall be taught of the Lord. All means all and all shall always be remain all and all, all gives no provision to anything else. All means all the Bible says that all your children shall be taught of the Lord and blessed shall be the peace of your children. I call to mind your children in the name of Jesus. Even that whom you seem to have hated, you seem to have given up on. In the name of Jesus, uh, listen to me, my friend. Uh, my Bible declares, uh, great shall be the peace of your children. Uh, come and declare it now. Call your children. Uh, declare your peace into them. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, every spirit of war that is happening in your children, uh, break it now. I say break it now. I say break it now. In the name of Jesus, uh, break every spirit of addiction. Uh, break every spirit of alcoholism. Uh, break every spirit of every addiction to sex break it right now in the name of Jesus break that addiction that addiction to marijuana that addiction to sex that addiction to fornication break it right now in the name of Jesus we break it now I say we break it now in the name of Jesus I release your children I free your children from every bondage I free your children from every bondage I free your children from every alcoholism I free your children from every addiction. I pray your children from every spirit of madness in the name of Jesus. I command the spirit of madness out of your daughter, out of your son. In the name of Jesus, the Bible declares in the book of Malachi that I will send my messenger before him. He shall prepare the way and the God whom you seek shall suddenly come. The God whom you seek shall suddenly come. Your God has come to deliver you from that bondage. Your God has come to reunite your family. Your God has come up to reunite your children. Your God has come up to bring back a peace, to bring back common into your house. Your God shall come up. My Bible declares, and the God whom you seek shall suddenly come. Our God comes in a sudden manner. Our God comes when nobody expects. Our God comes when everybody has criticized. When everybody has asked to you. Where is your God? Suddenly our God shall come. My Bible declares. And the God whom you suffer shall suddenly come. The God whom you suffer shall suddenly come. The God whom you suffer shall suddenly come. Let him come. Let him come. And level that mountain. Let him come. And fill that valley. Let him come. And straighten up the crooked place. Let him come. The God whom you seek shall suddenly come. Let him come. And save your children. Let him come and bring back your husband home. Let him come up in the name of Jesus and restore that love back into your relationship. Let him come up and heal your body. Let him come up and deliver you from that addiction. Let him come up and the God whom you seek shall suddenly appear. He shall suddenly come up. Let him come suddenly when everybody is asking where is your God? The God shall come up. Your God shall come up. I say your God shall come up. He shall not tarry. He shall not delay. Your God shall come up. I am praying today for your God to come. Oh God arise. Let your enemies be scattered. May God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let his enemies. Let his enemies. Let the enemies of our faith be scattered now. Let God arise. Let the witches be scattered. Let God arise. Let the rumor mongers be scattered. Let God arise. Let everybody fighting the church of Jesus Christ be scattered now. Let God arise. Let every plot against the church be scattered now. Let God.
whatever is let every oppression of the devil in your family be departed now. Let me God arise and your enemies be scattered. I pray today, let God arise. I pray today, let God arise. I pray today, let God arise and his enemies be scattered. My father raise up, my father raise up, my father raise up, arise my father, arise my father, and bring back my children home, arise my father, and save my family, arise my father, and help my family, arise my father, and open a door for finances, arise father, arise father, and supply to our needs, according to your riches and glory, by Christ Jesus, arise my father, and give to my children jobs and promotions, Arise, my father, in the name of Jesus. May God arise up and bring you that promotion. May God arise up. May God arise up in the name of Jesus. The few brother who's been, I've been asking, where is your God? May they see him. May they see him in the name of Jesus. I say, may they see him in the name of the Lord. They shall see him. Our God shall appear. Let him appear. Let him appear. I say let him appear in the name of Jesus. Let God appear. Let God appear. I say let God appear in the name of Jesus. Let every devil know that our God has come in the name of Jesus. Let God appear in the name of Jesus. Somebody you are watching me now. You have a problem with your bones. I command every problem into your bones to go in the name of Jesus. I pray for your bones. I say I pray for your bones. Every illness, every spirit of dislocation, every spirit of dislocation. I break it now in the name of Jesus. The Bible declares the word of God is quick and active. It is sharper than to edge the sword. Here he is penetrating through the marrows, penetrating through the bones, penetrating through the joints. I declare now, I command your joints to be made well now. I said to be made well in the name of Jesus. Father, I give you praise. Father, I give you glory. May God arise. I say, may God arise. Our God performs miracles for us. Let it happen today that God performs that miracle. Let God perform that miracle. The miracle at your workplace. May God perform it speedily. The miracle with your body. May God perform it speedily. In the name of Jesus, my Bible declares that there was all, oh, there was a man. There was a man who had a son, who had a spirit of, who had a paralysis spirit. Who, he had a spirit of infirmity. He had a spirit of epilepsy. He had a spirit of epilepsy. And this spirit used to come and hit this boy in fire and in hot water. And every time it came, it disturbed him. It removed this peace. It took away his comfort. It took away his confidence. It took away his joy. The spirit had oppressed the boy. The spirit of epilepsy. And the compressed the boy and the tortured the boy. It, he had no friends because of the plebs. He had no companions because of the plebs. You couldn't gather with a sense of God because of the plebs. There are people watching me now. You have a weakness that has isolated you. You had a problem which isolated you. You are not comfortable to visit your family. You are not comfortable to talk to your family members. You are not comfortable even to tell your husband about it. You have an infamita. You have a problem which has isolated you, which has taken you to hiding. You don't want to associate even with your friends because of the problem. This boy had the problem and his problem his problem was so tough. This problem couldn't allow him to associate. His problem couldn't allow him to associate. He couldn't associate with his friends. He couldn't even talk to them because every time they could gather, when they were in a when they are in a play, the Bible declares he used to fight and fall off and disappears and follows up in water, follows up in fire. It could burn him. He had wounds all over. He had wounds all over. I don't know what that devil has done in your life as that has left you with the wounds. I don't know. I don't know, my friend, what that devil has done in your life that has left you wounded, that has left you with scars. I do not know. But this boy had the spirit of the devil. That the boy was so oppressed and the devil left him with the wounds. The devil left him with the scars. I don't know. Men are listening to me now. That devil hacked you. That devil jacked you. That devil bound you. And when he left, he left you in wounds. He left you with the scars. Everybody can see it. Everybody knows what happened to you. Everybody knows.
knows what your husband did to you. Everybody knows that you are barren. Everybody knows that your family is poor. Everybody knows that you married a poor man. Everybody knows that you married a man that has no future. Everybody knows you have a problem. It has given you wounds and it is visible wounds. Everybody sees them. Everybody sees them. Everybody sees them. Try them. Every time you try, it beats your efforts. You have tried. Every time you try, it beats your efforts. It beats your power to come out of it. It repeats your efforts to try and come out of it. You have a wound. Everybody recognizes it. My Bible declares this boy. This boy in the book of Mark had wounds because of epilepsy. A demon had attacked him, and every time it could attack, it could leave him with the wounds. There are people watching me today. Every time you attacked, the devil leaves you with the wounds. Every time you attacked, the enemy leaves you with the wounds. You have wounds everywhere. You have wounds when you are still a child. You had wounds when you are growing up. You had the wounds when you are growing up in the house of your father. You had wounds from your uncle. You have wounds from your sisters. You have wounds from your brothers. You have wounds from your own parents. You have grown up with the wounds. I don't know who I'm talking to, but there are people watching me today. You have grown up with the wounds, and everybody knows about your wounds. Like this boy, he had a spirit of epilepsy, and it could leave him with the wounds every time it could attack. And my friend, it could attack him occasionally. It could wait for him when life is on the top, and it attacks him. There are people watching me today that never waits for you when life is on the top, and he attacks you. That demons wait for you when life is on the top. He attacks you when you got a new job, when you got a new money, when you have entered your house. The devil strikes and every time he strikes, he leaves you with the wounds. You have wounds from your past boyfriends. You have wounds from your previous girlfriends. You have got wounds all over and you don't know what to do. My Bible declares every time the spirit attacked the boy, it could leave him with the wounds. I don't know what you've been through my friend I don't know my friend what the devil has done to your life maybe every time the devil tries to attack you he leaves you with the wounds and you don't know what to do about it you have tried every level best to come out of it but the wound keeps on showing up but the wounds keeps on speaking up and people pinpoint you and said she's the one with the wounds she's the one with the scars people are laughing at you because of your previous wounds because of your past scars everybody knows what happened to your family everybody knows what happened to your children everybody in the church who knows what happened and the bible declares this man tried to bring his boy to the disciples of jesus and they couldn't cure him they couldn't do anything for him listen to me my friend some of you have been wounded some of you have been attacked and you've tried everything you could do you have gone everywhere looking for Chua, but nothing could happen, nothing could develop, nothing could change the situation. Listen to me, my friend, my Bible declares, this man tried his level best. It is not that you are not trying, but you have tried everything you knew in your wisdom, but the things do not change. You have tried your family members, you have tried to make calls, you have tried to write applications, but things do not change, but things do not change. But my Bible declares, when Jesus came out, he found he found the Pharisees, he found the Sadducees, he found the lawyers questioning his disciples and he asked them, what are you questioning them? Why are you talking to them? Why couldn't you wait for me? If you had any question, why couldn't you wait for me so that you could ask me that question? Listen to me, my friend. They were asking the Lord. They were asking the disciples so many questions and the Lord confronted the people that were asking the disciples. I am praying to them now. Let every asking you where is your God may God confront them 
with the answers in the name of Jesus. Everybody asking you, what has your prayers done for you? What has your faith done for you? What has your sins done for you? In the name of Jesus, I am praying to God. Let them see your God. Let God will suddenly appear in the name of Jesus. They will see your God. They will see him move. They will see him perform that miracle in the name of Jesus. And the Lord ask them, what are you asking them? What are you asking them? The time has come, my friend, for the Lord to confront them that are confronted you and asking you, is your God? Let God confront them. Let God speak to them. Let God answer for you. My dear friend, their questions, you know that you know that you can no answers. You can no answers. You don't know what to do. You can no answers. There are questions around you. Your family is asking that, that you can no answers. They are asking you, when are you married? So and so is married. Your son is married. Your parents are married. Your companions are married. Your friends are married. You grew up with so and so. They are all married. When are you introducing your man? And you don't have answers. And they are asking you, the Bible declares that when the Lord appeared, when the Lord arrived, he asked the man, he asked the Pharisees, the Sadducees, what are you asking them? In the name of Jesus, I am praying today, may that question be answered. I am praying today, may that question be answered. Let God answer that question. I say let the God of heaven, let the God of heaven answer that question. In the name of Jesus, let him confront them. Every brother has confronted you. My Bible declares, I will continue with him uh, that contends with you. Let God contend uh, with that problem. Uh, let God contend uh, with those in laws. Uh, let God contend uh, with your family members. Uh, let God contend uh, with your supervisor. Let God contend uh, with your immediate boss. Uh, let God contend uh, with your boss uh, in that house. Uh, let God contend uh, with your employer. Let God contend uh, with your employees. Uh, let God contend uh, with that governor. Let God contend uh, with that other advocate. Let God contend with that magistrate. Let God contend with that judge. Let God contend with that policeman. Let God contend with that man. In the name of Jesus, the Bible declares, I will contend with him that contends with you. I will save your children. I will save you. I will save your children. I am praying to God. Let God contend with that witch. Let God contend with that witch now. I am praying. Father, may you contend with that witch. Father, may you contend with that person. Father, may you contend with that man. Father, may you contend with that woman. Father, the may you contend, uh, contend with him uh, that contends with us. Uh, when the Lord came, uh, he asked the uh, disciples, uh, he went to the disciples uh, and he also turned uh, to the scribes, uh, to the Pharisees, uh, to the Sadducees. Uh, what are you asking them? Uh, may God contend, uh, may God contend. Uh, with him uh, that contends with you. May God contend uh, with him uh, that is fighting in your business, uh, that is fighting in your family. Let God contend. Uh, Oh, let God contend. I shall let God contend with everybody that is trying to contend with you. Let God contend. Let God contend. And at that last, let him save you from their bitter hands, from their bitter folly. In the name of Jesus, let God contend with them. In the name of Jesus, I am praying. Let God contend with that lecturer. Let God contend with that lecturer. Let God contend with that man that took away your money. You have worked for them and they don't want to pay you. They are keeping your money. It's like you don't need your money. They are keeping your money. Let God contend. My Bible declares my people shall not labor in vain. I'm praying for somebody right now. They don't want to pay you but I am praying. Let God contend with them. Let them release your pay. Let them release your wages. Now, now, now. Let it happen now. In the name of Jesus. I hear somebody God is saying that they are going to pay you double for your trouble. They are going to pray you with a surplus in the name of Jesus. They are going to pray you with an increase in the name of Jesus. It is happening now. If I be anointed, if I be a man of God, if I stand before the Lord, if in his presence I stand, I declare today they are going to pay you with an interest. They are going to pay you with an increase. The increase is coming. 
in the name of Jesus, uh, the necklace is coming. Uh, it is coming now. It is coming now. Let it happen now. Let the Lord do it now. I said, let the Lord do it now. It is happening now. The Lord is doing it. Uh, I said, the Lord is doing it. Uh, and the Lord asked them, uh, what are you questioning them? Uh, the time has come. Uh, they are questioning you. When are your children going back to school? Uh, we are seeing others going back to school. Uh, but yours are not returning. Uh, they are asking you questions. Uh, you may not have answers when we look on the left and when you look to the left and to the right and back and front you see no help but my bible declares my help come from above your children are reporting back to school i declare that in the name of jesus may the lord ask them those that are asking you let god contend with them let god fill you with the answers everybody that asks you when they come back let them find answers i said let them find answers in the name of jesus I say, let them find answers. I say, let them find answers by the power of the living God. Let them find answers. Let it happen now. The Bible declares they questioned them. They questioned them. And the Lord questioned their opponents in the name of Jesus. And the Bible declares, oh my God, the Bible declares the man whose son had the spirit of a plebs came and fell down before him and worshipped the Lord. I don't care the problem. I don't care the oppression. I don't care how many times you've suffered. I don't care the rejection. But you can fall down now. You can throw up your hands and worship the Lord. Come on, do it now. Worship the Lord, everybody. Worship the Lord from the east. Worship the Lord from the west. Worship the Lord from the south. Worship God from the north. Worship God everywhere. Everybody that can listen to me now. If you can listen my voice, worship the Lord now. Come on, worship the Lord. Worship the Lord, my brother. Worship the Lord my brother, don't allow your condition to hinder your worship, don't allow your illness to hinder your worship, don't allow your weakness to hinder your worship, come on worship the Lord, if you can do it now, come on worship the Lord, if you can raise up your hands, come on worship the Lord, do it right now, do it from the bottom of your heart, my Bible declares the Lord is looking for those who can worship him in spirit and in truth. If you can worship him, come on and do it right now. Don't allow your circumstances, don't allow your weakness to hinder your worship. God needs it the way it is. Even in your tears, you can worship the Lord amid your disappointment. You can worship the Lord when you have tried everything you know how to do and nothing seems to be working. You can opt to worship the Lord. You can opt to worship the Lord. You can opt to raise up your hands and say, my God, my God, I worship you. My God, you are the Alpha and Omega. My God, you are the opening and the closing. My God, you are the door. My God, you are my Savior. My God, you are my healer. My God, you can do all things. My God, who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above, beyond what we can think or even ask. You can worship the Lord. You can worship the Lord, the God of Moses, the God who opens the sea. You can worship the Lord, the God who reigned manna from heaven into the wilderness. And for million people ate, they fed on the manna, they fed on the bread of the angels. You can worship the Lord when they complained about meat. How come we are just eating food without meat? The Bible declares the Lord commanded the winds, and the winds blew, and the winds blew and brought the qualies in, uh, in the midst of them. They woke up and covered the qualies. They prepared and ate the meat. And the Bible declares they ate and they were full and they glorified the name of the Lord their God. I am praying today. I am praying today if you can worship the Lord. Come and do it my brother. I know the pain is intense. I know the oppression is too intense. I know the hell the burden is so heavy but you can worship the Lord. If you can open your hands up if you can open your heart up and worship the lord come on if you can hear me now come on worship the lord do not let that burden hinder you from worshiping the lord don't let that pain hinder your worship no 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 greater is it that is in me than the devil that is in the world the bible declares i am the lord your god who teaches you who teaches you to battle, who teaches your fingers to battle, and your, who teaches your hands to fight, and your fingers may break the power of iron. The Lord teaches 
teaches you to battle. He teaches your hands to war. He teaches your hands to war. Come on, worship the Lord. The God who does miracles for us. Come and see how the Lord is good. Test and see how good our God is. Our God is good. Come on, our God is good. Test and see. Test and see. You're proud to see the goodness of my God. You're proud to see the sweetness of my God. You're proud to see the healing of my God. You're proud to see the increment of my God. You're proud to see how God fights my enemies. You're proud to see how God rejects my enemies. You're proud to see how God humiliates my enemies. Come on, test and see how good my God is. He is able to do. He is able to do it. Come on, test and see if you can worship Him. Our God is a miracle worker. Our God is a healer. Our God opens the door. If you can worship Him, they deny you of the visa. But come on, you can still worship God. They deny you of that visa. You have tried again and again. You have been called again and again. But you are connected to a source that will never try upon or with. My dear friend, you have suffered disappointments with your past relationships. But if you can worship the Lord, He has something good for you in store. Come on, worship the Lord. Come on, do it right now. Come on, do it right now. My brother, worship the Lord. The burden is heavy, but you can worship the Lord. My sister, you in tears, but you can worship the Lord. Come on, worship the Lord. You are not going down. You are going to win. If you can worship the Lord, like this man whose son was epileptic, my Bible declares he fell down and worshiped the Lord. He fell down and worshiped the Lord. He worshiped the Lord. He didn't consider his circumstances. He didn't consider how many times he has tried and they could not, he couldn't find a cure. He couldn't consider how many times. He has gone to the hospitals and the doctors are eating his money, but they couldn't provide a cure for his boy. He worshiped the Lord because he knew if the Lord is here, he can do it. Because he knew if God can hear me, he can do it. If the Lord is willing, he can do it. And the Bible declares, I let the man say to Jesus, I have this boy of mine. I have this boy of mine. He has been epileptic for so long now. And every time it attacks him, it throws him in the fire, it throws him in hot water. And Jesus says, and Jesus says, oh my God, and Jesus says, bring him near. And he brought him, and he brought him, and Jesus said, do you believe I can do this? Do you believe? I also ask you, do you believe Jesus can do this? Do you believe he can save your children? Do you believe? He can save your marriage. Do you believe he can make a way? Do you believe you can get that visa? Do you believe your documents are going to be approved? Do you believe? Do you believe he's going to lift you up? And the Bible declares, and the man responded in tears. The man responded and said, I believe. Just forget, give my unbelief. And the Lord stretched forth his hand and commanded the foul spirit of epilepsy to leave the boy. And the boy was lifted up and was thrown down by the same spirit and the people thought that he had died and the Bible declares the Lord took him up and handed him over to the Father I am praying now I am praying now let the Lord do it again in the name of Jesus Father I give you praise Father I give you glory
delivered the Israelis from Egypt and by a prophet he sustained them prophetically you are drawn to Jesus and prophetically you are sustained every time you tune in this prophetic prayer moment something spectacular happens to you every time you're in the presence of God God causes situations to change. There's nothing as powerful as when the people gather and pray. So you're doing a good thing. And before I wind up, I want to give you the opportunity to allow Jesus into your heart and become your personal, your personal Lord and Savior. You can do it this way by believing in your heart that Jesus is Lord and God raised him from the dead and confessing it with your mouth, you will be saved. Now, can you take this step to confess it if you want to give your life to Jesus? Repeat this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I give you my life. Please forgive me and wash me my unrighteousness. Remove my names from the books of death and write them in the book of life. From now on, I believe with my heart and confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord and I am saved. Amen. Thank you Jesus for loving me and for saving my life. In Jesus name we pray. Amen and amen. Now that you made a prayer, saved. You are a child of God. You've been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. Now you are a child of God. You're no longer a stranger into his kingdom. You are a citizen of his kingdom. Bible declares that our citizenship is not in this world. It is in heaven. We came from heaven and we are going back to heaven. You came from heaven. And that's why you're going back to heaven. Listen, my friend, you came from heaven. That's why the Bible declares in the book of Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. That before you were formed in the womb, I knew you. Which means God had known you. You existed with God even before you were formed in the womb of your mother. You existed with God. God had you in his hands, in his bosoms, even before your mother put his first eye on you. You had existed with God and you came from God and you, in this world we have no citizenship. Our citizenship is in heaven and because you came from him, you shall return to him. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you and cause his face to shine upon you. In Jesus name, thank you so much our righteous media, Sister Eunice, Brother Isaac, Brother Jonah, for this great moment of bringing this picture to us as good as it is. May the Lord bless all your efforts. Thank you my wife, Prophetess Brenda, be nice for always being in the back praying for us praying for this program in Jesus name the Lord be with you in Jesus name we pray hallelujah